today we are doing a two-part trip. Later we're going to Lake Apopka, down near Orlando. Right now we are in Deltona at the Linonia, Linonia, excuse me, uh, preserve, which is, if I remember correctly, 360 acres of scrubland uh, that's been set aside to help provide habitat for Florida scrub jays and the gopher tortoise, both of which are struggling uh, because they need very specific habitat. So we're going to wander through and see what we can see. Florida scrub jay would be a lifer. Uh, very excited about tracking them down. It's one of those ones that ever since we moved to Florida we've been wanting to see. So fingers crossed that we uh, get some good looks here and hopefully we'll be able to share that with you later. Heading off now. Don't need the scope. I knew they were friendly, but this is ridiculous. They are known to land on people's heads. So as you can see, scrub jays are really hard to find. I don't think I got it on film, but one of them landed on my hand just now. We'll see if they want to do it again. Hello. Just to confirm, these are completely wild birds but this is just something that they are known to do. This is absolutely bonkers. I mean, what do you do? To clarify, we're like a minute from the car. Absolutely nuts. We've got things like Bob White's calling in the background too. So, scrub jays, what'd you make of them? A plus. A plus. Well, I think that's about it for here. Not huge numbers of birds. But those two scrub jays were absolutely unbelievable. I consider myself very fortunate to have had that experience. We have made it to the wildlife drive. Full of us whistling ducks, here we come. We are at our second uh, location for the day. After going and looking at scrub jays, we are now on the Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Already this place is very lively. There's, over to my right, a large family of, well, probably multiple families of gallinules. Some still chicks, some sort of grown up but immature and then some adults. We had a, a large kettle of anhingas, at least eight, maybe more. I'm calling it a kettle. And we've had several swallowtail kites on the journey here. Always excited about swallowtail kites, but they are a pain to film. It looks like it's just a, a long straight road with lots of water on each side. So we're gonna have to keep our wits about us. See if we can find us some whistling ducks.
very bumpy. Stopped here. There's a, like a little bend in the road where, um, I guess because of the way the waters run here, they had to do a little diversion in the road. What it means is there's a nice little convergence of different areas all around here. Right here, we have a little blue heron, mid-molt. So he's the immature are white, the adults are blue, which is why it's called a little blue. And so right now it is uh, growing up and getting its adult feathers. Which is why it's that two-tone a sort of patchy thing, he looks a bit shabby to be honest, but we love him nonetheless. So, those who have watched our stuff before or just have experience with birds will know that this is a black neck stilt. I don't think I've ever known them to be this noisy though. I'm sure that's picking up because it's very loud over here. He's giving it a lot of lip. And look at all that bobbing he's doing. All that bobbing up and down. Now I know I'm biased. It'd be hard pressed to find a more magnificent bird than this guy in the US. Looks like he's having a tough time with the heat like me. See, we understand each other, he and I. Next pull over, there's another one. This one's been here the whole time we've been here. Just overheating. I might have been tempted to find some shade if I was him, to be honest. There's a whole little grove of trees right behind me. Look at that face though. Oh my goodness. Stunning. You'll notice, diviuous, that I am walking. That is because we got to a point where, unfortunately, cars could not pass each other. And uh, we had to stop because there was at least a bitten. And then another one or two. Oh. Gallinal up here just in front of me. That little noise was him. See how close I can get. I'm going past anyway. Sir, sorry to bother you. He doesn't like me being here. Headed back to where the uh, least bittens were hanging out. Ooh, who's that? Oh, that's a little blue over there. Ooh, and a gator in the water just down here. I'm gonna get a little bit of footage of the gator and the tricolored and then we'll be back with the uh, least bittens. Okay, so you can just about see the young least bitten here. It's that little floof in the middle of the screen. The parents flew off so we weren't able to get any footage of them unfortunately. But uh, this guy stuck around. There he is. Oh, no, he's moving. He's moving. Hold on. Okay, we're back with him. Look how well he blends in, though. This is why we took us so long to find these birds in the, in the wild, because they're so... They're so good at hiding. Now, this guy's obviously still very young, not flying properly. And here, look at that floof gun. 
Uh, you can see his wings aren't used for flying here. They just used to help him hop around, jump around. But, oh, it's so nice to see. So we are on the shore of Lake Apopka. It's this mirror behind me. You can see it's uh, pretty vast. I'm going to go keep looking for birds. In part because we don't really have a choice. Because this is a one-way trail. We hunt. Okay. I'm tired of my children, but they're not letting him uh, get away, so he has to pretend like he's hunting, but really he's just trying to stay away. I can believe that. Plus, they can't reach him up there. Exactly. Strange place for green heron. <laughs> he was looking like straight down the, the lens there. We are very satisfied with our day, I think it's fair to say. We achieved uh, one of our two primary targets, Florida Scrub Jay, and I think that's probably somehow managed to top the rough for craziest first sighting of a bird. Well, I guess the rough was... The rough is... I know, that's what I was just realizing. That was only a Florida first. Anywho, that's probably the craziest lifer I've ever had. I mean, you, you just can't ask for better. You literally can't ask for better. And then we got like bonus least bittens. We had really good looks at things like black neck stilts. Just uh, an all around really nice day. Um, we naturally were not properly prepared and therefore will be lobsters tomorrow from sunburn, but at least one of us will be. But yeah, that's it. It's over, it's done. See you next time. Bye. Thrasher. It's where he thrashes. Um, 